Hello, guys, and uh, welcome to yet another one of Dred's going to show you how to do something weird old videos that I've been putting up lately. I couldn't just leave this one well enough alone. Uh, I was thinking about this today and I get asked this a lot. So I figured why not just jump in and do a super quick video about how to duplicate items in No Man's Sky. Uh, this is one that people ask all the time for. Uh, and I end up showing it on stream quite a bit. So I figured, what the heck? Why don't we why don't we create a video and we could we could send people here if they miss it? You know, that way I'm not like doing it all the time, which is also a big, a big help. So um, I'm not going to take a whole lot of time in the intro here. I'm just going to say, first and foremost, thank you for finding the video. Uh, and if you find anything good here, uh, a little thumbs up and a sub on the channel helps immensely. And uh, if not, you can let me know in the comments one way or the other. So here we go. We're going to swing on over. And I'm going to let you know that we are coming to you from, uh, we are coming to you from Fort Gurf here on the planet Uxto. Not that that matters, but if you're curious, uh, in the comments, let me know and I can, uh, I can tell you how to get here. It's a pretty cool planet. Uh, there's no atmosphere, no life on it whatsoever, uh, which means no storms. There are some sentinels, but that's about it. And we have a massive nip, nip, grow operation here. So that being said, that's all well and good. Let's talk a little bit about how we duplicate an item so uh the way you can duplicate an item is actually quite simple all you need to do is be able to put down a portable refiner uh you need anything anything that is in your inventory can be duplicated so for instance uh it doesn't really matter what we grab here um okay let's uh look i don't really need anything but what the heck why not right uh, let's take this Sentinel exosuit fragment. We have one of them right here. Okay, so we know we have one, right? So here's how this wonderful little trick works. What you're going to do is you're going to put down... Oh, I may not let me do that here. Uh, I don't have edit permission here because this is technically the base I have built on my PlayStation 5. And here we are on my computer like a ding dong. So let me get away from the base real quick. This should be far enough. Ah, there we go. Okay, so. Hi, chat. We're going to try this again. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop a portable refiner right here. And we are going to go and find that one particular item that we want to use. So here it is. So the Sentinel Exosuit Fragment. What you're going to do is you're just going to dump it inside the portable refiner you're not gonna do anything else with it you're just gonna back out then what you're gonna do calm down video game calm down video game then what you're going to do is you're going to place another portable refiner directly on top of it and as close as you can get the better okay once you've done that you can do that as many more times as you want depending on how much how many of these guys you want so i'm gonna do it three more times just so that we know so by the end of this, we should theoretically have four of what we're duplicating. Now, the way to duplicate it is you simply pick up as if you were going to stash that in your pocket, pick up the portable refiner. What is happening when we do this, right? This is the big question. So when, when you place these refiners down and you put one item in it, and then you place the refiners on top, all the items are technically then sharing that item because you place them all in the same spot when you lift one it knows oh i have that item so it goes into your into your inventory but the original goes wait i have that item too so it gets its own version of it so basically if we go pick this up you're gonna see no carbon came up there it is right there that just went right into our inventory if i pick this guy up again no carbon because i had no fuel oh there it is again we pick this guy up and no carbon because no fuel it might have actually doubled i wasn't sure if it actually did let me see and the very last one there we go so now if we go and we look in our exosuit we should see there's our magic number four out of ten we had one when we started we have duplicated it three times it's pretty easy it's it, it, it it's amazingly amazingly simple to do uh, this is something that has apparently been around in the game for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, apparently, the devs are aware of it, and it doesn't really bother them. 
we also now have uh, these difficulty settings here, which allow us to not care about price and cost when it comes to making things. So the duplication option here is actually kind of a, a moot point at this point. You can always turn off the cost of building things or buying things. So is it necessary to do this? No, but this is a, this is a little trick. This is a little trick that we, uh, we've come across and uh, we, we've used it multiple times because you play the game the way you want to and no one's going to judge you for it. The game is the best. It's best enjoyed the way you best enjoy it. Have fun with it. Um, if you're curious, yes. Yes. Whoops, sorry. It can, in fact, be used on existing, existing modules you have installed. You can pack up and store your tech like so put it in your inventory and then duplicate it should you want to like maybe you have some s class maybe you found one s class or a really good x class uh module and not only do you want to make more of it but maybe you want to put it like if your starship is my uh, mine's out of range but like if i had a bunch of stuff on here that maybe i didn't want to go hunting for and i wanted to put that on another ship that i have this is a great way to do it. Instead of just picking up and moving it, you could make essentially copies of all of them and move them over. It's pretty cool. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I may or may not have done this multiple times. Um, that's it. It's that easy. I hope uh, I hope this helps. I hope this is something you enjoy. Uh, I hope um, I hope you have fun with it. That's the entire point of this game is to have fun and just kind of do things the way you want to. Uh, we're not competing with each other for the most part in this game. So like why but why why have a stringent set of rules if you don't need to? There's gonna be some out there that absolutely want that stringent set of rules and others that just kind of want to have a good time. So wherever you fall, if this helps you, that's awesome. If not, no big deal. Nobody cares anyway, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, if you found anything good about the video, a big old thumbs up would be awesome. And if you didn't like it, the thumbs down will break my heart, but it is your right. You can do that. Uh, leave me anything in the comments, any questions you might have, and I'll try to get back to you uh, as soon as I possibly can. On top of that, uh, anything you want to come and talk to me about, we do No Man's Sky Monday through Friday, starting at about 9, 9.30 every single morning on uh, twitch.tv slash James. You can find me there. Uh, we are live 9, 9 to 9.30, give or take, uh, Eastern time. So swing by. Talk to me sometime. It'll be great. Until then. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and of course, continue to be the legends that I know that you are. I'll see you guys in the next video, or maybe I'll see you guys live. Until then, bye guys.